guys and welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a current household i haven't done a current household in a while i don't know exactly how updated this household is because i haven't played it that long i mean i've played it for a while i just haven't played it recently so we're just gonna go in it's obviously the chase family the chase family is a, a family i've been playing i started playing them in sims 3 for those of you who don't know and are new to my channel because there are actually a couple of you that just came <coughs> Um, yeah, for those of you who just came, I've been playing this family in The Sims 3, then I transferred them to The Sims 4. I was planning on transferring them back to The Sims 3, however, I'm not into playing current households in The Sims 3 at the moment because of how laggy the game can be. I mean, when I'm playing it by myself, it's not that laggy, but whatever. So we're gonna go into the household, and I guess I can just show you what I did, because I did restart playing the Chase family. And one of the real reasons I did is because I'm a simmer who likes to take memories of my sims. Screenshots are just something I live for, and um, I, I can't live without them. And I wanted to take pictures of my sims as toddlers, and that's what I'm doing now. And in the original Chase family, I did get pretty far in the generation. Um, I think we were on... Generation 4? Yeah, we were on Generation 4 going on 5, but I wanted to start over, which is probably not the smartest idea. But I just wanted my mains, Jamie and Dylan and Nathan and Haley, to just have, like, be all cute and have their little children be actual babies. And that's all I wanted. I'm not gonna lie, that's really all I wanted. Oh my god, my laptop is dying. Babe, don't do this. You are working really well all this time and now you decide to act like an idiot. Okay, so we're here in the house. Um, currently a lot of my sims are at work. That's supposed- and school. Kaylee's at school. She is a child, so there's that. So I guess I could show you my toddlers. They'll be home soon, like the parents and Haley. But um, here's Nathan. Nathan is my first toddler. No, Haley was my first toddler. Nathan is my current toddler. He is a little older. He's the eldest um, son we have. And he's really wild. Um, that is his tree. He is like the most wild little thing I've had in my gameplay in a while and he just won't sit down and he just does throws a lot of tantrums more than his little brother and his little brother is clingy um for Dylan who's the youngest toddler I'm gonna just talk because the game is frozen and it decided to freeze when I have things to do games to play like I'm planning on playing a new game on this channel I shouldn't but I am because I'm trying to figure out how I can revive my channel like bring it Izumi Rice pull back from the dead. That is what we're trying to achieve at this moment. And um, Dylan, his favorite parent is Jake. There is no it's or buts about it. They're literally identical. And that's his favorite parent. His dad is his favorite parent. And they, I feel like Jake is a little snake and he has a favorite child. And that favorite child just so happens to be Dylan too. And um, Heather, Heather's mean. I don't even think she likes any of her children because she is so mean to them. She yells at them, she breaks their toys, and I don't I don't get it, but evil mom, evil stepmom, that's not, well, that's her half mom. Like, no one's a stepmom. Only a person that has a step parent is Haley because Jake is not her father. Her father's name is actually Blake, and he does not come around <laughs> because Heather was a teen mom. And, um... Yeah, so little Dylan is probably my favorite Chase child at the moment. Um, I loved him when he was in my other family, but he is so cute. He's literally the freaking clone of his father, and that is luck because he was the clone of his father in the other game. Um, if you guys watched, if you guys watched the um other current household, we probably had a daughter. Yeah. Um. We don't have a daughter anymore because the fucking game didn't save her and so I was like oh okay and then when the baby was born the baby wasn't a girl and I was like okay whatever I forgot I forgot to mute Skype so we're gonna have that actually no we're not okay so I put uh, Skype on do not disturb so we don't have to hear that but um or was I talking about Dylan and how freaking adorable he is yeah he's probably gonna be my favorite child um and I kind of sort of want the Chase family to be as it always is like have the sims you know I always have the only sims I'm probably not going to recreate because that takes a lot of effort to go through four generations having the same kids probably these sims like the sim children I'm having now their children um, whatever they have is what we're gonna have because Dylan had, like, 
four children. He had four kids. No, he had like six kids. What am I talking about? And Nathan had no. I think Nathan had like one child. He had one little boy named Tony. Haley had four children. She adopted a little girl and then she had three kids. A boy named Sirius. I probably want to keep her kids the same because I did fall in love with her daughters, Ren and Scarlet, and then Sirius and Nia. I actually loved all of her kids and I might actually keep them the same. But as for like Dylan and Jamie and Nathan, I'm probably going to do their families at random because that's a lot of work and I don't have time for that. Um, I have yet to recreate a lot of like the family we did have, such as Jake's brothers and sisters. I think I'm just gonna talk about the most relevant things in this current household and how much I love this family. So Heather, she's actually in the business career. She is progressing slow. Um, she's only a level two. She's possibly going to get a promotion today. I hope so because if she's gonna be a rude frigging biatch, she might as well bring in some money. And um, she doesn't have that many useful skills besides what she possibly needs for this job. I don't really pay attention to her, to be honest, because she's so mean to my children. Um, hopefully, like, I don't know why. She is really mean to them. She doesn't have, like, as high as a relationship with her kids as she should. Like, I usually see that, like, parents have, like, full bars. No, hers aren't even full, and she's had these kids for a while. I don't know what's going on. As for Jake, his aren't that high either because he does have a full-time job, but they're- Oh my god, I said Dylan was his favorite child, but look at this! Oh, I lied through my butt. Oh my god, what happened? Why don't you like your baby? Wow. Y'all caught me in a lie. I literally thought they had a great relationship with how they were talking. Maybe not. Well, Dylan was just born. Maybe that's why. I don't know. Man, that's weird. Like, I he has a better freaking- um, relationship with our nanny than he does our child. Wow. And that's his nephew, Rodney. And that's his sister, Tara. Um, Tara was actually a child, but I decided not to make her a child because awkward to be, like, with your own kids and your your little sister is literally the age of your kids. I didn't want to do that, so I just made her an adult this time. So, um, that is pretty much- oh, well, Jake is in the writing career, as you guys know. If you've followed my previous current households with the other, um, She's telling me, since we've been having so many kids, Jake's not progressing in his career whatsoever. I'm um, ignoring the funds. It's part of the storyline. We are a pretty wealthy family. Jake's parents send him money every now and then, even though, he, even for their grandkids, because his parents have a successful business that he did not want to continue. His brother actually owns the business now, since their parents are getting older now, along with his four other siblings, besides Tara. And there's a storyline for that. And um, they send them money all the time, which is why they're not struggling at the moment to pay bills. However, Jake knows that he's not going to be able to ask Tom for money because Tom and him don't have the best relationship. And then he's going to have to fend for himself sooner or later. So he's trying to salvage as much of these funds as he can. As you can see, we have a pretty decent home. But we do have another child that I'm planning on having. I want to have one more little baby so I can have my little baby boy, Jamie. And then I think that's how, I think that's going to be our last child. We're gonna have four kids. And, you know, I don't have to, like, expand the house. I could literally plop little Jamie's behind in here with Dylan. But I feel like once they get older, they're going to want their own space. So hopefully they can progress in their careers and we can, you know, have a bigger house so that all four of the kids can have, like, their own area. So I think I'm gonna end this current household here. I'll do updates for them next week or soon because I'm about to actually play with them now. Um, before I record the other part. So yeah, guys, if you want to see more of this family, tell me. I'm so sorry that this part, this like current household is so disorganized because I was just fan boying all over my little baby because I love him so much. Man, I've been having like serious baby fever and I don't even like kids, but like, look at him. You can't, you can't see, well, he looks a little doll-like at the moment, but you can't see no little, little face, look at him. But yeah, um, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed and want to see more and don't forget to come right and subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye guys. Let it go, let it go.